are those who appreciate a clean lobby. And then there's George. Okay, go straight in and run a bath, George. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Professor Wiseman. Oh, yes, that does sound serious. Ah. Only one octopus? <laughs> hey, George. Ah? I have to go help Professor Wiseman. Don't forget about that bath. George decided that the best thing to do was to put all his toys in the tub. <laughs> Hi, leave a message when you hear the... George? Hello, is anyone there? I just wanted to make sure you saw that orange fly eye slipped under your door. We have to shut off all the water at four o'clock which is now. I'm going in. George couldn't believe it. The apartment didn't have any water either. Huh. How was he ever going to get clean? Yep, to get to water, all you have to do is dig a well. <laughs> George didn't know how long his apartment would be without water, so he figured he might as well start digging. George ran the hose from the bathtub down to his well. How could George attach the hose to the baster? The water came into the baster from the bottom, so George needed some way to connect the hose to the side. Huh. Maybe this would work. <coughs> With duct tape, anything was possible. <coughs> Water was going up the straw. At this rate, George would have his bathtub filled in no time. Except the well was out of water. George had to dig a deeper hole. George had struck the mother load of water. Water spurting up 20 feet in the middle of the city? Not a good sign. See, the whole reason we turned the water off was to figure out why we were losing pressure. <sighs> Turns out the water main leading to the building had a crack in it. I still don't know how George discovered the water main or the crack, but it's a good thing you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, George, you haven't looked this clean in days. When you take a bath, you really take a bath. <laughs>